Jenny says, so many men online sound like they're having chaos in their life. The pandemic has made everyone effing crazy and everyone is having a midlife crisis. That is quite frankly true. You know, the pandemic has certainly made it more challenging in people's lives. But the reality is, is most humans have a fair amount. I'm not talking about, okay, let me talk about chaos. I'm not talking about garden variety. We've got stuff going on in our life. A, a, a healthy human being has balance between good stuff happening in their life and not so good stuff. I'm talking about overwhelming bad stuff happening in a person's life, chaos, uncertainty, the ground underneath them doesn't feel solid. I can tell you, I went through that experience after my divorce when I lost my quarter million dollar year job and I lost all my money in the market crash of 2008. Seven figure wipeout. So bad that I had to move in with my mom and dad in my mid forties and I used to live in a $2 million home. Talk about shame and the, the emotional chaos that came with that was devastating to me. This is why I was using cocaine on a regular basis to self-medicate and drinking, going out and drinking. I mean, I was dating like a fiend and drinking because I wasn't dealing with my problems. I'm not saying this because uh, you know I'm proud of it. I'm not saying it like a badge of honor. I'm saying this because I understand the emotional dynamics that causes one to become dysfunctional in their life. And then to make matters worse, most of you know that I lost my 19 year old son, Connor, a couple years ago. Talk about another emotional devastation I've gone through my life. And I'm just sharing my experience. How many of you have suffered significant loss or painful situations that traumatizes us? I mean, PTSD could, could easily come from a breakup of a relationship. And if we don't do the personal development, self-help and spiritual work to heal, it's gonna make it very difficult to lean into a new relationship. This is why I highly recommend, this is my Bible. This book is my Bible. It's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. I highly recommend getting this book. This is a great book to help you to talk to the voices in your head because the reality is, is most of us are suffering. This, by the way, everybody, I want you to think about this. I was, I was, I was, well, I'm going to share with you something. I watched a video from another contemporary and they're talking about how confidence is the most important thing in relationship. And I'm fucking laughing because the reality is, is most human beings are riddled with emotional insecurities. Most humans are suffering from, I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable and I'm not likable. And they oftentimes put a facade of confidence because the real issue isn't outward confidence like you can pay bills on time and you're doing great at work and you're successful in your professional life. True confidence comes from emotional confidence, from emotional maturity where your actions match your words. You have victor consciousness. You know how to fight fair. You have empathy and transparency. That's where true confidence lies. And I can tell you the vast majority of men and women are winging it. They're rather clueless on their emotional maturity. This is why we see so many dysfunctional relationships happening over and over and over again because they're not leaning into their emotional maturity. They're not reading the books I'm recommending. This is why when I talk about these books over and over again, the same books over and over again, is because I've literally laid out a great tiny library to help each one of you become so amazing in your life that you become a magnetic attractor for someone great in your life. And so my invitation for you, do the inner work, and see, and by the way, choose people that do the inner work as well, or at least are willing to do the work like many of my clients have secured with the, the men that they're dating. All right, Jenny, thank you so much for sharing. Ah. Uh,